with their efforts to really improve things from what it was. So uh, very sad that they're they're gone. I don't know, like his, echo his sentiments that knew them both well and uh, sad to see him go. Yes, I've known Mike <coughs> for many years and Lauren since he became a fireman. Uh, I know, uh, and I my sympathies go out to Stella Belling, who's gone through a lot these last few years. Thank you. I would like to please be seated. Thank you all for coming. I would like to open the meeting up for public comment on agenda items only. There's no one on agenda items only. Okay. And we'll do town board resolutions now. I offer the following and move for its adoption. Whereas the town supervisor of the town of Unionville is in need of a deputy supervisor, confidential secretary, and bookkeeper, now therefore be it resolved that the town board on the town of Unionville hereby authorizes positions of deputy supervisor, con confidential secretary, and bookkeeper, and be it further resolved that line A122.1.1 supervisor, confidential secretary, PS, is hereby created, and be it further resolved that the budget transfer from line A8010.1.1 zoning secretary PS in the amount of $6,000 to line A1220.1.1 is hereby authorized, and be it further resolved that the employment of the deputy supervisor, confidential secretary, and bookkeeper shall be effected effective as of Friday, January 1st, 2016, and be it further resolved that the Deputy Supervisor, Confidential Secretary, and Bookkeeper are empowered to act on the Town Supervisor's behalf at her request. Second. I second. <clears throat> Town Board discussion? Uh, where does that leave our Secretary for the Planning Board? Well, there's still money in that line and that being the, for, oh, for the planning board, I'm thinking the zoning board, mm -hmm. um, there will still be a planning board secretary. Okay. Right. <clears throat> and the, the zoning secretary? The zoning secretary, if you read further, um, right. will be paid by the meeting. Um, in 2013-2014, there were two and three meetings a year. <coughs> so instead of getting giving a salary for the a yearly salary, which should include 12 meetings, they're getting paid by the meeting. Mm -hmm. And that, that's a resolution further on. Mm -hmm. I tell you, I, I actually haven't had you know, these came out early this morning, and I haven't been able to read through these resolutions. I'm not really comfortable voting on them tonight. I would like to make a motion that they be tabled to the next meeting. Um, I will second that if it's a possible thing we could do. I mean, all of us, I think it's it's new new ground here. So a lot of changes. There's a lot of changes in here that I haven't been able to review. Okay, roll call vote. Yeah. <clears throat> to table it? To table it. Uh, well, you, I believe parliamentary procedure, w or Robert's rule would say that you can either amend the motion or the first motion has to be withdrawn before you can vote on the second motion. I don't think you can vote on two motions at the okay. same time. Okay, so we're going to... What are we going to do here? Uh, would you withdraw your motion so that we can vote on it to be voted on at the next meeting, or do we vote on yours and then it'll be yay or nay? And um, I think part of what we are looking for um, in our new town board is transparency, and that means the meetings may be longer. 
but you are going to be privy to our discussions as a town board. So while this may take longer because you haven't had an opportunity to um, go through all this, um, certainly our supervisor is open to discussion and will answer your questions of how decisions for change um, came about. <coughs> and, you know, um, as she said, like, so far she's answered all your questions. So <coughs> My motion stands. I, I would like to review the uh, resolutions here in detail and compare them with uh, records on the file. Well, you have one motion that has to be voted on, and then you can make your <coughs> motion, you know, depending on the way the one vote goes. But you can't have two vote. You can't have two motions on the floor at the same time. Okay, are we going to vote to table this? Uh, if you withdraw your motion, we can vote to table this. My motion was to vote on this. To vote on right. it. So right. So you say, okay, I withdraw okay. my motion. I'm going to withdraw my motion. We will not vote on this. We will vote on tabling this. We can, yeah, I'll. Make a motion. Yes. You can, you, Steve made a Steve motion. Steve made a to, motion to table to it. Table John it seconded it. Okay, then okay. you call for a roll. So okay. we need a roll call vote. Right. Change to tabling the, 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 the next meeting. Okay, so Councilman Welch. Oh uh, no. To table it. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Thanks, Dave. Okay. Councilwoman Kelly. No. You're nay. You're not. I don't vote to table it. Okay. Supervisor Tompkins. No. Councilman McMorris. Yes. Councilman Frazier. Aye. Okay, motion passed three to two. So Mary Colonel, Lou, I can't hear you. Mary Lou, you can make your appointment. Okay. Because that's like not part of that. Point Andrea Casey as my deputy now, All in favor? Yeah. We don't she gets to make her own. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. No, we don't. Okay. Uh, resolution 16-002, uh, appointing town board consultants for the year of 2016, whereas the town board of... I thought uh, just table these. Mm -hmm. All of them? Yeah. Or just the first oh, I thought one. it was just the first one that you wanted to table. No, the whole packet came out early this morning. I haven't been able to do it. Oh, come on. This is ridiculous. It's not ridiculous. Yeah. It's ridiculous that these were handed to me an hour before the meeting. You know what? You're here to read it. My motion was to table the resolutions for the evening to the next meeting. Well, I, I was under the influence. We were just talking about this Sorry, first one. New roll. Why don't you have another vote? Mm -hmm. Who's running the meeting here? Steve. All right, let's have another yeah. vote on. I was under the impression also, Steve, that you were just talking about the first one and that you would do each one as we went along. So. It's for all of them that you want to take. Well, no, I, I, like I said, I haven't had a chance to read through these, and and the very you know this is the setup for the town board or town hall for the year. I would mm -hmm. like to be able to read through them 
before I vote on them. And, and not just here, them read to me here at the, at, at the table. I mean, a lot of these you were involved in. Mm -hmm. I spoke, you know, you met with us about the attorneys and- We didn't have any about. discussion about the attorneys. We can have it now. That's, that's, we can, can have, have it now. now. And Absolutely. there should be no discussion of the town board outside of a town board meeting. Well, apparently there has been. Otherwise, these resolutions wouldn't read the way they do. No, we have not. The three of us have not been together outside of here since January 1st. So, do you want to make the motion to table all no, of them? I already now? had. But we were, well, under the, we were under the impression. We understood that was the first one. You too, right, John? Yeah. So that was for the first resolution. So now we're going to go go on and read the next resolution. And if you'd like to table that when you get to the end of it, Can you're more than welcome to do it. Where yes. we are on this agenda. Resolution uh, 16002. Uh, excuse me? It'll be like your fourth page in. There's the agenda oh, and then your third page into the resolution. Number 16-002 is at the top line. Did you find it, Mary Lou? Yeah. Um, I didn't... I was out getting a new mm -hmm. yeah. order, so who made the motion for the first resolution? Well, that's the deputy supervisor confidential. Service. Yes, and I I read it. You made Karina, the motion? yes, Karina second it. But when uh, we were going to vote, um, there was town board it? discussion, and Mr. Fraser asked that we table it. So, okay. so Patty withdrew her I withdrew motion. my motion. We voted on Steve's to table that one, okay. and it was three to two. Right. So it's that one's tabled. Okay. So now Karina is going to read the next one. So do we want to vote for tabling the entire thing and do a no. revote, or do we no. want to do each one as we go along? We're going to do each one as okay. we go along, and then everyone will understand. Okay, so this is about appointing county board um, consultants. So whereas the town board of the town of Unionvale is in need of consultants to advise on matters legal, planning, engineering, accounting, and information technology in the year 2016, and now therefore it shall be resolved that the town board of the town of Unionvale does hereby retain and authorize the firm of Hogan and Rossi and attorney Thomas J. Jacobellis as counsel for the town for all daily legal needs, including all prosecutions and defenses, and be it further resolved that the town board of the town of Unionvale hereby retain and authorize Albert P. Roberts as special counsel when so needed by the town board, and be it further resolved that the town board of the town of Unionvale hereby authorizes a supervisor to prepare a request for proposals for planner for the town and be it further resolved that the town board of the town of Unionvale shall continue the appointment of Art Broad as planning consultant until such time as a planner for the town is appointed and be it further resolved that the town board of the town of Unionvale hereby authorizes a supervisor to prepare a request for proposals for the engineer for the town and be it further resolved that the town board of the town of Unionvale shall continue the appointment of Larry Paggi as town engineer until such time as an engineer for the town is appointed, and be it further resolved that the town board of the town of Unionvale hereby continues the appointment of Theodore Eaglet Jr. CPA as accountant for the town, and be it further resolved that the town board of the town of Unionvale hereby authorizes the supervisor to prepare a request for proposal for information consultation, including website, and be it further resolved that the town board of the town of Unionvale hereby authorizes the town supervisors to sign all necessary paperwork. The question of the adoption of the foregoing resolution was duly put to a vote. So I will make <coughs> I will um, I will make the first motion to 
I'll second. Accept the resolution. Roll call vote. <coughs> There's no discussion. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Town board discussion. All right. Uh, you want to go first, Steve? Or? That doesn't matter. Go ahead, John. All right. Most of this is fine. I just think that uh, we interviewed two attorneys last night. Unfortunately, they're not in the same uh, organization. Uh, they were very impressive young men, uh, but I think their unfamiliarity with our code and our town is going to be put them at a disadvantage, and I think we've done extremely well without Roberts and his firm doing our legal work for years. We've done very well. We've won cases and he's protected our town and tried to minimize expense. So I would say I would like to retain uh, Al Roberts uh, for all legal matters. Um, I also uh, question why we are uh, hiring an out-of-county firm with less experience uh, than the current attorney that uh, is near, in nearby Wantley's Falls. And as uh, John mentioned, is very familiar with our uh, codes and, and such here, uh, and has served us well thus far, and uh, whose retainer fees and such were less than the, uh, the attorney that's on this resolution. His retainer fees were less, but the litigation on his is more. So therefore, it kind of evens out. And we were elected into office and to make changes and to move forward and that's what we're trying to do and I'm there's nothing against Al Roberts but I feel the need to change the attorneys <clears throat> question about the last line necessary paperwork for for day-to-day -day everything I mean well, everything includes a lot of stuff, but, you know, which should, you know, some of which should go before the full board. I, I just, I don't like that line. Well, any uh, other the, sup board? the supervisor okay. would not be allowed to sign any paperwork that must go to a board vote. Um, it's all necessary paperwork that uh, our former supervisor as well signed or took care of as matters of the town. So it's really a redundant statement then, because as supervisor, yes, she has the authority to sign it regardless Absolutely. of what we say or not. Yes. So but it actually yeah. puts it in print. Well, I don't, I don't like the terminology on that. Any other discussion? I have nothing to say on that. As far as the attorney goes, I think Al Roberts has done a fine job in the past, but I think it's time to have a fresh look. I think having somebody else look over our papers would probably just give us a better idea, of, or at least a different perspective. It's only for one year, and it can be readdressed again next year. Okay. Roll call vote. Councilman Welch. Uh, I'm going to vote no only for that one reason. The rest was fine. Councilwoman Kelly? Yes. Patrice Tompkins? Yes. Dave McMorris? Yes. Councilman Frazier? No. Resolution 1603, appointing members and chairpersons to boards, commissions, and committees. Whereas the town board of the town of Unionville is empowered to appoint residents to certain boards, commissions, and committees. And whereas the town board of the town of Unionville is empowered to appoint members of boards, commissions, committees as chairpersons. And whereas vacancies currently exist on planning board, zoning board of appeals, fire advisory commission, and Community Day Committee, and now, therefore, be it resolved that the, Union, that the Town Board of the Town of Unionville does hereby appoint John Rapetti as Chairperson of the Planning Board for the year 2016, and be it further resolved 
that the town board of the town of Unionville does hereby appoint Jane Smith as chairperson of the Zoning Board of Appeals for the year 2016 and be it further resolve, resolved that the town board of the town of Unionville does hereby appoint Daniel Richards, John Delveni, Paul Granger, John Welch, John Rapetti, George Kolb, and David McMorris as members of the Fire Advisory Committee for the year 2016 and be it further resolved that the town board of the town of Unionville does hereby appoint Daniel Richards as chairperson of the Fire Advisory Commission for the year 2016 and be it further resolved that the town board of the town of Unionville does hereby appoint Angie Casey, Mary Lou DeForest, Peter DeForest, Robert Mattis, and John Welch as members of the Community Day Committee for the year 2016. Be it further resolved that the town board of the town of Unionville does hereby appoint Angie Casey as chairperson of the Community Day Committee for the year 2016. The question of the adoption of the foregoing resolution was duly voted on. I'm seconding it. I'll second. Karina Kelly, second. Town board. <coughs> Discussion. Um, wondering why we are not reappointing Kevin Durland to the planning board. Um, all the members I've spoken with there said he was doing a fine job. Um, Kevin Durlin never approached me about it, and is that the way it should work? I think the I'm chair, the, the board, I believe, appoints the chairman, not the town board, but the planning board, or appoints the <coughs> own chairman. That's what we've done in the past. Last year, in the minutes, the town board appoints mm -hmm. the chairman. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, then I stand corrected. Further Last I spoke with John Rapetti, he wasn't interested in the position. Uh, he hasn't answered my call today, so I don't know. So you don't, you haven't even uh, spoken to him and you're pointing him chairman? And I am the current chairman and I think that we're doing a decent job. There's been a lot of turnover in the planning board. We finally got some continuity and then get tossed out. Nobody's called me to see what I feel or introduce themselves. Okay, I make a motion that we table this. The whole thing or just the planning board aspect? The planning board aspect. Okay, I'll second that. I'll vote in favor of tabling the planning board aspect. So are you voting? Any, uh, are you voting we're the removing the one we're line removing from this we're removing the rest of it. And well, that has to be a separate vote. We, yeah. We have to. And I make a motion that we make a separate yes. vote to revise the Let resolution. Me put it this way. We're we're amending amending resolution. We're amending the resolution that we on this vote. pass yeah. this with the exception of the aspect of the planning board. And that we table through the next meeting. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I second All that second. much. I was what your motion was and Dave seconding that. Yes. Mm -hmm. All in favor? Aye. 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 That's where we move forward. Steve, do you want to read this one? <clears throat> Resolution 16-004. Appointing necessary town officials for the year 2016, whereas certain positions in town government require the annual approval of the town board, and now therefore it be resolved that the town board of the town of Unionville hereby appoints the following people to the following positions for the year 2016 Assistant Media Coordinator Ellen Finley, Ryan Peterman, Assessor Bob Taft, Assessor's Clerk Laurelyn. Sonnison, Assistant to the Bookkeeper, Kathleen Hunt, Building Clerk, Laurelyn Sonnison, Building Inspector, George Cole, <coughs> Code Enforcement Officer, George Cole, Constable in Charge, George Treadwell, Constable, Robert Casey, Timothy Kraft, Ronald DeGisto, <coughs> James Miller. 
Deputy Registrar of Vital Statistics, Andrea Casey. Dog Control Officer, Mary Jean Calvi. Equestrian Direct Director, Elizabeth Albrecht. <clears throat> Finance Officer, Brian Corton. Fire Inspector, George Kolb. Grant Writer, Jill Way. Justice Court Clerks, Jill Jarina, Krista Remba, O'Sullivan. <clears throat> Media Coordinator, Andrea Casey. MS4 Representative, George Kolb. Park Manager, Robert Mattis. Park Secretary, Stephanie Doherty. Recreation Assistant, Jessica Dickinson. Recreation Director, Robert Mattis. Recreation Secretary, Elizabeth Albrecht. <clears throat> Recycling Center Administrator, Thomas St. Ange. Register of Vital Statistics, Mary Lou DeForest. Secretary to the Planning Board, Kathleen Dunham. Secretary to the, er, to the Zoning Board of Appeals as per Town Code. This appointment is made by the Zoning Board of Appeals. <clears throat> Zoning Administrator, George Kolb. Uh, question of adoption of foregoing resolution was duly put to vote. Yes. All right, I will second that motion. Thank you, Supervisor Tompkins. Wait, wait, Town wait, Board wait. discussion. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> um, Secretary to the Planning Board. Um, again, they're very pleased with the uh, performance of the current secretary. And in the past, that's been appointed by the uh, Planning Board Chair. Well, that's, that's not what the town code says. And again, we are moving forward. And that's all I have to say. So is there a reason then that, that we're removing the current secretary? Because we're moving forward. Forward from, if we have a person here, this, I mean, we could turn the whole town hall upside down and shake them out and start from scratch. But I don't understand why we have someone that's doing a good job for us is being removed. Well, I think that the people of this town voted us in to make changes, and that's exactly what we're doing. A secretary is a big change. That's going to make a difference. We in have this to town. start somewhere. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. If I mention, if I could just say one thing before you, you do that. Uh, no. no. Mm -hmm. Sorry. There will there will be time At the to end speak, of the meeting. and we that's will fine. allow you to. At that's the end of the meeting. At the end of the meeting, you can speak. Right. Okay. You second it, and mm -hmm. that was the town board. Did any other discussion? No. Okay. Roll call vote. Supervisor Tompkins. Yes. Councilman Frazier? No. Councilman Kelly? Yes. Councilman McMorris? Yes. Councilman Welch? Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 Resolution 16006, setting salaries and wages for 2016. Be it resolved the following elected positions be paid the following salaries for the year 2016. Town Councilman, $5,760. Town Clerk, $43,832. Town Highway Superintendent, $57,485. Town Justice, $10,085. Town Supervisor, $20,060. Town Tax Collector, $7,258. We have further resolved the following appointed positions be paid the following salaries for 2016. Assessor, $17,442. Budget Officer, $2,975. Building Inspector, Code Enforcement Officer, Fire Inspector, MS4 Representative, and Zoning Administrator, $66,739. Deputy Supervisor, $200. Dog Control Officer, $7,354. Finance Officer slash Bookkeeper, $32,490. Justice Court Clerks, $5,510. Park Manager, Recreation Director, $66,965. Planning Board Chairman, $1,787. Recycling Center Administrator, $10,940. Registrar of, of Vital Statistics, $1,464. Zoning Board of Appeals Chairperson, $1,338. Be it further resolved, the following appoint, 
appointed positions be paid the following hourly wages for the year 2016. After school program assistant director, $13. After school program director, $18. After school program worker, $11. Assistant media coordinator, $11.84. Assessors clerk, $21.24. Assistant to bookkeeper, $18.11. Building Clerk, $21.24. Confidential Secretary, $16. Constable in Charge, $15.17. Constable, $15.17. Deputy Town Clerk, Deputy Registrar of Vital Statistics, $17. Grant Writer, $25. <coughs> Machine Equipment Operator, $24.38. Maintenance Helper, $20.81. Maintenance worker, $23.66. Media coordinator, $14.14. There's another big continue oh, right there. Oh, sorry. Just, just that one. Park assistant, $20.40. Park deputy, $23.66. Park secretary, $15.61. Senior park assistant, $20.81. Record management worker, $11.08. Rec Recreation assistant, $18. Recreation secretary, $14.10. Recycling workers, $15.06. Secretary to the planning board, $16. Be it further resolved, the following appointed positions be paid the following per meeting for the year 2016. Planning board member, $100. Secretary to the zoning board of appeals, $150. Zoning Board of Appeals member, $100. I will make a motion that this resolution be adopted as written. Second. I second. <coughs> I'd like discussion? to uh, request that this one be tabled till next meeting, please. Um, my concern for tabling this is people have been working since January 1st, and so they should be paid for their work. Um, and it was um, new information to me that the town of Unionvale pays especially elected officials on the first of the month, even though they haven't worked yet for the month. So I've already received a paycheck. So, you know, certainly, like, I don't, I think we can discuss it, but I don't understand tabling it. I've already been paid. Well, there's a whole lot of numbers on here that I would like to compare with the budget and our records on file. And I'm not able to do that sitting at the table here. I do have a copy of the budget if you'd like to refer to it. I'm not going to sit here in front of all these people and study the budget intimately as I would like to do and, and tabling this for a week or two, whichever. We haven't set our schedule for meetings yet. Mr. Frazier, the new town board <clears throat> is committed to transparency. And if people exactly. need to sit three exactly. hours to and wait for us to do And transparency should apply to board work. members as well. Mm -hmm. And so if... They need to sit here three hours while you <coughs> look it up. That's okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My request is to table this to the following meeting. I do not believe we can do that when we're issuing paychecks and people need to pay their bills. There's no so second. we can make a motion to table this and there's the five no of second us. roll call mm -hmm. vote. Someone second it? No. Not, not him tabling it. No, but Karina seconded it <coughs> when it was read. Well, seconds it, then it Karina did. Right. Second. No, we need to be very them. clear on right. what motion we're actually voting on. No more miscommunication. So are we Karina, going ahead? With John read it. Karina seconded it. So we have to vote on the motion. So we have to vote on the motion. Okay, Supervisor Tompkins. Yes. Councilman Frazier? No. Councilman Kelly? Yes. Councilman McMorris? Yes. Councilman Welch? Yes. Okay, this is okay. <coughs> Resolution 16-005, authorizing town supervisor and council persons for the year 2016. Be it resolved that the town board of the town of Unionvale does hereby authorize the town supervisor to purchase a $250,000 blanket bond for the purpose of covering all employees 
who collect money, including the town clerk and bookkeeper and the town justices. And be it further resolved that the town board of the town of Unionville does hereby authorize the town supervisor to purchase, purchase a $500,000 blanket bond for the purpose of covering the tax collector. And be it further resolved that the town board of the town of Unionville does hereby authorize the town supervisor to issue checks upon the receipt of a signed voucher for postage stamps, freight, and express charges. And be it further resolved that the town board of the town of Unionville does hereby authorize the town supervisor to pay in advance of audit specified bills and contracts as is provided by the finance office to the town board and town clerk and available for public review in the town clerk's office, including principal and interest on bond anticipation notes, electric telephone postage, and employee payroll deduction payments and disbursements of amounts withheld for employees' pay. And be it further resolved that the town board of the town of Unionville does hereby authorize the town supervisor to sign bank checks when necessary for all town businesses, to, to authorize Deputy Supervisor Kelly to sign bank checks when necessary in the absence of the supervisor, to authorize <coughs> Councilman McMorris to sign bank checks when necessary in the absence of supervisor and Deputy Supervisor, to authorize Councilman Welsh to sign bank checks when necessary in the absence of the supervisor, deputy supervisor, and Councilman McMorris, and to authorize Councilman Frazier to sign bank checks when necessary in the absence of the supervisor, deputy supervisor, Councilman McMorris, and Councilman Welsh for the year 2016. Be it further resolved in the absence of the supervisor, the emergency interim successor for the year 2016 shall be Councilwoman Kelly Councilman McMorris, Councilman Welsh, and Councilman Frazier. The question of the adoption of the foregoing resolution was duly put to vote, which resulted as follows. Um, I put this motion forward. I second it. Okay. Town board discussion. <coughs> Roll call vote. Supervisor Tompkins. Yes. Councilman Frazier? Aye. 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 <coughs> Councilman Kelly? Yes. Councilman McMorris? Yes. Councilman Walsh? Yes. Okay. Resolution 16007 establishing schedules, procedures, mileage reimbursement, and other necessary approvals for 2016. Now therefore be it resolved, the Town Board of the Town of Union Vale does hereby authorize the salary payment schedule to every two weeks or monthly at the employee's discretion, and be it further resolved, regular Town Board meetings will be the first and third Thursdays of each month at 7.30 p.m. in Union Vale Town Hall for the year 2016, and be it further resolved, vouchers are due three days prior to the third Thursday of each month, be it further resolved, meetings shall follow modified Roberts rules of order as determined by the supervisor or majority of the town board. Be it further resolved, the rules of procedures for meetings shall be as followed. Persons interested in speaking shall sign up prior to the start of each session of public comments and questions. All comments and questions shall be addressed to the town board. Public comments and questions on agenda items shall take place prior to the consideration of any resolution. Public comments and questions shall take place after all resolutions have been dispensed with, but prior to an executive session. Additional agenda items may be added by the supervisor or majority of the town board when deemed necessary. And be it further resolved, the town board of the town of Unionville does hereby establish the mile reimbursement rate of 54 cents per mile, and be it further resolved, petty cash shall be as follows. Tax collector, $100. Town clerk, $200. Park manager, $200. Building Department, $100. Recycling Center, $100. Highway Superintendent, $100. Be it further resolved, the rental of number two, Time or Park Road, shall be $1,700 per month. Be it further resolved, the rental of number 11, Time or Park Road, shall be $2,200 per month. Be it further resolved, transfer station recycling permit fees shall be as follows. $50 annually for Unionville residents, 
$30 annually for Unionville residents over 60 years of age. Non-residents shall pay double, $25 for a 10 punch ticket. Be it further resolved, the official publication of the town of Unionville shall be the Poughkeepsie Journal. Be it further resolved, the official depositories of the town of Unionville shall be the Bank of Millbrook, Hudson Valley Federal Credit Union, and Mayapak National Bank with MBIA to be issued for investment of funds. <coughs> be it further resolved, the insurance handlers of the town of Unionville shall be the McCain Group Incorporated for general fire and liability insurance and Marshall and Sterling for medical insurance. Be it <coughs> further resolved, CDPHP shall be the primary medical insurance carrier. Be it further resolved that active members of the Univale Fire Company may be covered by the town's medical insurance at their discretion as per New York State law at their own expense. Be it further resolved that additional insurance covered through AFLAC, New York State Retirement, and New York State Deferred Compensation are available upon request. Be it further resolved medical insurance buyout cap is 30% of the single premium account of the designated insurance carrier. Be it further resolved the holiday schedule for Town of Univale shall be New Year's Day, Martin Luther King Day, President's Day, Memorial Day, July 4th, Labor Day, Columbus Day, Veterans Day, Thanksgiving Day, the day after Thanksgiving, and Christmas Day for the year of 2016. Be it further resolved, the vacation pay schedule shall be as follows for all full-time employees. One week vacation with pay after one year of employment, two weeks vacation with pay after two years of employment, three weeks vacation with pay after 10 years of employment. And the question of the adoption of the foregoing resolution is duly put to vote. You need a second. second Can I? Okay. You second it? Yeah. Town board discussion? Um, can I? We're selling the recycling punch cards now at $30, not $30. Uh, that was a question that I was going to ask. And also, in the past, we have always given um, qualified firemen the recycling <clears throat> pass for a dollar. We're going to continue doing that because. I, I was going to ask that question myself. I, Pardon? I was going to ask that question myself. It used to be that we give the firemen either uh, swim, the, the swim, pass. swim pass or a dump. Recycling. Recycling. Recycling uh, yeah. Recycling. I mean, is there any other? Otherwise, I thought it was fine. All right. I, uh, um, I have a question okay, on the agenda. Okay, we it then. Or we can make that as a, a motion after, mm -hmm. I think. But we have to change the, the $30. Yeah, we have to yeah. change that, make a motion to change and that. And we had the fireman for a dollar. Yeah. I make a motion be, be approved as corrected. Second. I'll second. Town board discussion? No. Yeah, I wanted to discuss the line regarding agenda items. I would like to see that read that uh, agenda should be in place a week before the meeting and agenda items may be added by <coughs> uh, approval as full board in, in uh, session at the meeting. Can you repeat the second part? <coughs> after that the one amendments to the agenda can be made by the full approval, the approval of the full board in attendance at that particular meeting, rather than the majority. Again, it just uh, it allows us time to review agenda items so that when we are voting on them, we can make an informed vote. And if, <clears throat> if they can be added and no one has a problem with that, then we can do that. But if someone has to do some research on an item, then I believe they should have that uh, right to do that before they go. Does anyone want to second that change? I still believe uh, the town board has always voted by majority. Uh, I still believe <coughs> Actually not in, up stay. until this point, no. Because that, uh, in the past two years, that uh, is the way that we've been doing that. So um, your previous resolutions read that every town board member had to approve? An um, amendment to the standing agenda, yes. And that was in uh, <coughs> like last January's notes? <coughs> no, actually, was, I believe it was made the previous year. 
I'd have to look up when that uh, resolution was passed. But I believe it was the previous year. Yes, Mr. Any other comments, discussion? No. So no one wants to second this amendment? You know, I might so, say, I, I, the amendment, uh, uh, the part as far as the entire board approving the uh, a change to the agenda, um, I, I can go along with that. Because sometimes, and I, I've seen in the past where things have been brought up that day, and yeah, members of the board should have a, a chance to review some of the stuff. Um, but I think much of that should be done at a, a workshop. Uh, I understand anything that there are it, emergency items and such, right. and, and that's the provision to put them on the agenda. But, uh, you know, regular business, I think we should all have an opportunity to study you know, what we're voting on. I agree, but I don't agree with full board. I think it should go out to vote. Amendments to a standing agenda. We're talking no, about introductory items, not your agenda. You publish your agenda a week beforehand. Any items that go on that in between should be an amendment to the agenda at the meeting and have the approval of the full board in attendance to be added to the agenda. Okay. To give someone who hasn't had an opportunity to review that topic a chance to do so before they vote on it. Okay, so you're seconding it? I'll second that, yes. I thought you made the motion. Huh? No, 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 no. this is an amendment oh, to the resolution. It's an amendment to the resolution. <laughs> Mr. Frazier made the motion to amend the resolution. Dave seconded it. All in favor? <coughs> Aye. 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 Aye
<laughs> my resignation is also immediate. Or second, second. is amendment. Oh, okay. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. 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 Roll call vote. Supervisor Tompkins. Yes. Councilman Frazier. Aye. Councilman Kelly. Aye. Yes. Councilman McMorris. Yes. Councilman Moore. Yes. Since we've made it through all the resolutions, I'd like to go back to the first one we tabled and um, wonder if it still needs to be tabled. We discussed all of these through the various other resolutions and explained them out. And the problem is if we do not approve this one, people are not getting paid and they cannot pay their bills. And some people have been working since Monday. So are you going to make a motion for the... I make a motion again? to remove, remove it from tabling and rediscuss as a town board. Yes, so you want to move? You, okay, you want to move the resolution again? Yes. Okay, I'll second. I that. can reread it if that would be best for the public, so we can mm -hmm. review it. No. Okay, you can read it again. Resolution sixteen dash zero zero one, authorizing positions of deputy supervisor, confidential secretary, and bookkeeper for the year of two thousand sixteen. Whereas the town supervisor of the town of Unionvale is in need of a deputy supervisor, confidential secretary, and bookkeeper. And now, therefore, be it resolved that the town board of the town of Unionvale hereby authorizes the positions of deputy supervisor, confidential secretary, and bookkeeper. Be it further resolved that the line A1220.1.1, supervisor, confidential secretary, PS, is hereby created. Be it therefore resolved that a budget transfer from line A8. 010.1.1 um, zoning secretary PS in the amount of $6,000 to line A1220.1.1 is hereby authorized, be it further resolved, that the employment of the deputy supervisor, confidential secretary, and bookkeeper shall be effected as of Friday, January 1st, 2016. Be it further resolved that the deputy supervisor, confidential secretary, and bookkeeper are empowered to act on the town supervisor's behalf at her request. I, I put this uh, resolution up for a vote again. You want to second it, Dave? I'll second it. Town board discussion? My only concern is uh, I can see having a confidential secretary, but my concern is removing a position, uh, someone from their position. It's not removing someone from their position. Well, removing the money to pay them. The person is going to get paid per diem okay. for every meeting that All right. mm -hmm. she attends. She's getting an amount for, if she attends 12 meetings, she's going to get $150 per meeting. But if there's only three or two Correct. zoning yeah. mm -hmm. board meetings, then, then I save money. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. So that well, money that money. we're saving is going to the confidential okay. secretary. So that's what that's all, all about. All right. Then okay. I'm, mm -hmm. on, I'm on board. Okay. Um, any other town board discussion? Roll call vote for anyone? Supervisor Tompkins? Yes. Councilman Frazier? <clears throat> I'm going to abstain. Abstain. Councilman Kelly? Yes. Abstain. Councilman McMorris? Yes. Councilman Welch? Yes. Okay. Town board assignments. Okay. Town board assignments. Supervisor Tompkins, all departments, municipal functions, boards, and committees. Council. What? This one. Your appointments. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm moving on. Supervisor Tompkins appointments for. Deputy Supervisor, in accordance with the preceding Town Board Resolution and New York State Law, Section 42, I hereby appoint Karina Kelly as Unionvale Deputy Supervisor. Confidential Secretary, in accordance with the preceding Town Board Resolution and New York State Town Law, Section 2915, I hereby appoint Kathleen Dunham as Confidential Secretary. Bookkeeper, in accordance with the preceding Town Board Resolution, 
and New York State Law, Section 2915, I hereby appoint Ryan Curtin as bookkeeper, budget offer, officer. In accordance with the New York State Town Law, Section 1032, I hereby appoint myself, Patricia Tompkins, as budget officer. Town historian, in accordance with New York State Arts and Cultural Affairs Law, Section 57.07, I hereby appoint Francis Wellen as town historian. And Mary Lou already did hers. Mm -hmm. Okay, you um, all town board assignments supervisor Tompkins all departments municipal functions boards and committees councilman Frazier departments are highway and recreation and parks municipal functions are dog control facilities management and website and boards committees are the ethics committee uh, myself councilwoman Kelly Departments, Recreation and Parks, Building Code Enforcement, and Recycling Center. Municipal Functions, Consultants, Finance, Payroll, Insurance, Workers' Comp, Disability. Board Committees, Conservation Advisory Committee. Councilman McMorris, Departments, Constabulatory, I'm just gonna say the constables, I don't know what word that is. Justice Court, Media, Municipal Functions, Communications and grant writing. Boards and committees. Fire Advisory Commission, Zoning Board of Appeals. Councilman Welsh, Departments. Assessor, Records Management. Municipal Functions, Human Resources. Board Committees, Board of Assessment Review, Com Community Day Committee, Fire Advisory Commission, and Planning Board. Announcement. Um, announcements of vacancy. Webmaster, Constables, Planning Board member, a seven-year term. Zoning Board of Appeals member, a five-year term. Conservation Advisory Board members, two-year terms. Ethics Board. I don't think there's any vacancies in the constables. Yeah, we're not gonna fill those. No, there aren't any vacancies right. in the constables. Okay. Those people were set to retire. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I mean, all th all three were retirements actually, okay. and we had already trained the people prior. Okay. okay. Are there any public comments or questions? Could I make one? Sure. Uh, for next month's or next meeting's agenda, I think one of the, two of the things we've got to work on this year for updates to the code are number one, rules for any radio controlled drones at town property. Mm -hmm. And secondly, uh, have some something in the code to uh, regulate uh, solar panels. Mm -hmm. uh, right now they're small, but mm -hmm. there's potential to get uh, significant amounts in residential areas, which would to me be a commercial application. And an extensive area of acres of them could be very unsightly. Mm -hmm. So I think we have to address that in our code as soon as possible so that we have something to address requests. Okay, mm -hmm. we start on that next meeting. Mm -hmm. And you'll work with me on that? Sure. Getting that ready? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. We don't, we don't. All right, are there any public comments? You want to be at the microphone? Yes, yes. please. Karen Snare, I was disappointed to not see any resolution of the library uh, issue on today's agenda. I hope it will be on the agenda next time. I understand that the Mid-Hudson Mid Library Board has uh, presented the town board with a, a possibility that needs to be approved, and I'm hoping it will happen soon. Thank you. Is that Hisman, uh, 506 North Clove Road? Um, not too bad for the first time, guys. <laughs> <laughs> but you didn't check the leases. 
The rent for number 11 is $2,300, and the rent for number 2 is $1,600. Financially, you're the same because it was 22 and 17, but uh, when, they, when the new renters came in at 11, uh, we set it at 2300 and we, at a request, we set the number two back to 16. So financially, it'll come out the same. And also, was Ron, Dave, was Ron DeCustle appointed a constable? We didn't need to. He's already, he's already, he was already, he's already yeah, established. He's already, oh, I, I thought you said Jimmy yeah, Miller and. He was on the list. He was on the list? Okay, yes, I missed I them. I read that one. Yeah. And did I understand that the planning board and the ZBA members were going to be paid $100? Per, per session. Per meeting. Per meeting. Oh, $100 per meeting. Yeah. Uh, okay. That's a little bit more than they're getting right now. If they have 12 meetings. Well, yeah, well. But we've checked over usually, the past three years and... Yeah. We never really hit 12 meetings. Okay. That's all, but I was really disappointed about the agenda because, uh, Corrine, you especially has said everything should be open, and the agenda you worked from was not available to the audience, as far as I know. So you're saying our agenda was not on the door? Well, all the, not the agenda that you worked from at the board, it was a... a a basic agenda was on the, but not the agenda that you uh, made decisions from. All the details were the not available to copy us. Copy of the right. resolutions okay. you're saying. Yeah. So we'll see you, Mary Lou. Us old people will see you. <laughs> For all the dots and comes. I don't move as well as Lizette, and I'm younger than she is. Tillman Shaughnessy Road. Now I put the glasses on. We so far, thank God, have had only one storm that required the plows out. Now, traditionally, the Unionvale Highway has plowed Clove Road. And I believe they earn money for this from the county. The county yes. From the county. Um, the one time the plowing was done in late December of 2015, I followed a county truck up. Why was county plowing what Unionvale normally plows? They didn't get the memo. We got paid though. So oh, get out of town. What can I tell you? Is it a lie or is that the truth? You'll have to ask Richie, but as far as oh. I know, we're getting paid. Richie, are you here? I don't see Richie. Okay, well, so is that going to be, who, who looks into that, me? Richie. Richie, okay. Anyone else? I have some um, data on the library issue. If you could just get to the microphone. I have some printouts in response to um, the library issue. If you pass them, there's two. <coughs> and what was your name? Cynthia Fairchuk. Maybe you should you know, talk to it. And I made a dozen. I'm sorry I haven't been able to put this up on an electronic board so that everyone could see. But I have analyzed the library data using the library information. Could you get closer to the microphone, thank you. Okay. Not used to using the microphone. Anyway, um, I'm as upset about the library issue as anyone. And I have analyzed the data from the library itself and each individual library. And any extra papers, you're welcome to look at. Or if you want a copy, I'll email it to you or hand it to you after I get to print it out. It turns out that if we give the library the $72,000, we will um, not get our full services back last I was informed of it. And it's very unfortunate. I myself am a de developmental dyslexic as is my son, and uh, we have done great things at the library, thanks to people like Mrs. Snare, who I've known for many years. And if we go to the $72,000, we will be equal to what the town and village of Millbrook pay 
but that's cost per card holder. The real issue here is that every town collects their money differently. So I have listed how the towns collect their money. Some are line items, some are a specific tax, <coughs> and some you can't tell the difference. So if you compare what everyone pays per resident or per card holder, you will find out that uh, at $72,000, we will be very close to what the 6,155 people pay in the town and village of Millbrook, where we have 4,880 people. And that's only because their budget, <coughs> excuse me, went up to 184,000 last year. And for, I believe, the last nine years, it's been 100,000. So basically, we have been paying already equal to what they've been paying, but we have fewer people. The other thing is, because there's no real way to make equality between the towns, because everybody does it differently, if you were to divide the uh, assessed value of taxable parcels, what our town is worth without nonprofits included, and divide it by the cost of the libraries, you get a much better egalitarian value from town to town. And uh, the last thing that uh, we should also consider is that when we give money in our taxes, we need the ability to vote on how those taxes are used, or the people who are going to be in charge of using our taxes, like our town board. When we give money to the library, and it's a line item, we don't get that opportunity. When we um, have uh, the best way to prevent taxation without representation, we should be able to vote how we give the library money and who are the people who use that money for us. And I'm afraid that most people don't have that, nor do they even understand there are many ways to have libraries. There's two types of libraries. Most people don't know that there was a difference in funding for them. And most people who even pay taxes in these towns where it's listed as a tax don't know what they're paying. So there's a a problem of education, there's a problem of communication, and there's a problem of accounting and accountability. So if we don't want issues like I heard happened in Wappingers, that we need to be more informed, study the data closer, and make uh, movements to include your voice. Anybody wants any of these? Thank you. And we can make additional copies if anyone would like them. Thank you so much for putting this together for us. Um, obviously, I'm kind of taking the lead on the library issue, so I will definitely take this into consideration. Um, it will be on the agenda in two weeks, and now that we have secured counsel, I can review um, the contract that came back to us um, that the the former town board had put together um, and proposed to the Mid-Hudson Library System. Also in the next upcoming weeks, um, we'll be putting together uh, a town committee for people being interested on the library committee. I'd like that committee to actually consist of, of different types of people from different walks of life. So certainly um, homeschool moms, uh, people that have experience um, that work at the library or, or have experience with those services, um, people that are older and need the library for different reasons. Um, uh, through the process, many people have reached out to me. We have some amazing people um, in this town with amazing different viewpoints, and all of them are just different. None of them are right or wrong, and they all um, would, would put us in a great position um, to negotiate going forward. Um, our goal really is that uh, going forward with creating a town committee that we may be able to remove this altogether from a town board decision and put it really back to the residents um, as, a, as a something called a 414 so that uh, no matter who is your current your town board 
um, it would always be paid for and those funds would always be secure. So thank you so much for putting this together. I'm sure this was a lot of work. Thank you. Are there any more? Oops. Ralph Mondello, Wingdale Mountain. Um, I just want to say I'm not opposed to the library. Um, I'm not opposed to giving the $72,000. You just got to be careful with the contract that you're going to get because from what I understand they're looking for a minimum of 2%. A minimum of 2% could be 100% the following year. So the only thing I'm asking the board to do is just be very careful with the contract. Um, the previous board I believe was looking for a 2% increase over five years or four years and I understand it was changed. So. It's the taxpayer's money. The only thing I'm saying is just be very careful with it. Again, I'm not opposed to funding the library. Mm -hmm. And one other thing, town constables. If you're um, going to appoint a town constable, he has to live in the town of Unionville. That's the town law. Mm -hmm. So I believe you have one constable that's being appointed that does not live in the town of Unionville. Thank you. We will look into it. We'll look into it. Thank you. Thank you. Joe Kelly, West Cove Mountain Road. Uh, good evening. Um, I, uh, just for um, uh, information for everyone that's, um, for the board and for everyone that's here, the January 8th, 2015 minutes, I pulled them up on my phone. Uh, town board rules of procedure were that agenda items may be added before the meeting is open to public comment with the approval of the supervisor or three members of the town council. Thank you. Anyone else? <clears throat> I make a motion to adjourn then. So moved. Thank you. Thank you all for coming. Thank you. Thank you.